Hey dude, I think I have a good title for the video. Checking in. Yeah, uh, that needs work. Okay, how about check please? Eh, not feeling it. Checkmate. Just straight up no. Okay, how about this for a title? Steve's a jerk, doesn't let me do anything, and just traps me in his igloo of a garage. Canada wins and improves to 2-0 with a 7-2 victory against the Czech Republic. Let me lift this up so you can actually see my eyes. And like their game against the Russians, this one started off tough. First of all, Jaden Schwartz getting hurt. He would return though. But 49 seconds into the game, the Czechs get an odd man rush, beat Olivier Watt, and it's one to nothing. Blarg! And you know what? Good on Canada for coming back against the Czechs. Good on them for coming back against the Russians. But sooner or later, if you keep giving up the first goal of the game, it's gonna bite you. And Canada had to wait 14 minutes, seemed like a lot longer than that, to tie it up. But Braden Shen and Jaden Schwartz scoring less than two minutes apart, Canada's up all of a sudden two to one. And that's the way it would stay until almost halfway through the second because guys, the Czechs were legit. In fact, the Russians had a good start against Canada too. But as I saw at the World Junior Development Camp in St. John's, Newfoundland, the Canadians are in top shape and maybe that's why they seem to have better second halves. And the Czechs almost tie it up. But Olivier Wah, bow with the pad save. Braden Shen takes it the other way up the ice. Louis LeBlanc buries it and Canada, instead of having a tied game, are now up three to one. And the term timely save has always been weird to me because really you want to stop them all, but that is a timely save, my friend. Canada, just a timely team, really taking advantage of their opportunities and really getting it done on the power play. And with the game already looking out of reach for the Czechs, Tyson Berry and Jared Cowan both score for Canada. Czechs get one back and that's the way the game would end, seven to two. Canada had eight points coming from their defense in this game three goals and five assists. Four of those points coming from Ryan Ellis, one goal, three assists, guy had a crazy game. The guy's the captain, he's the leader of the team, and he's the leader of the power play. And it's a good thing the defense are doing well because defenseman Calvin DeHaan goes into the boards awkwardly and he left the game. Not sure how severe the injury is, but I really hope he comes back. He's an assistant captain on the team and one of just four returning members from last year's team. And by now you probably thought I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I had to save it for last. Zach Cassian. Now we know Zach plays with an edge. And this guy's big by pro standards, let alone junior. And he used that size to absolutely destroy Peter Sinkerik. Sinkerik had to be taken off. A lot of injuries in this game. And no penalty right away, but Cassian ends up getting five, which Canada killed off, and a game. And now I ask the obvious question, what do you guys think of that hit? Everyone seems to be saying it was pretty borderline, and eh, I'm gonna be boring and say, I don't know, borderline. Maybe you guys disagree, let me know. Well, let's not end on that. Let's end on a good note. Number 10, Braden Shen. Five points in the game. And I guess he forgot to change his calendar must think it's still Christmas for them assists just handing out gifts and my favorite Braden Shen highlight from the night wasn't any of the plays it was after the game when he got the player of the game award he's like hesitant to touch it and okay trying to avoid it and I like that player of the game all right pat on the back congrats but he knows what he's there for so get at me guys what'd you think of Braden Shen what'd you think of the hit what'd you think of the game leave a comment on the link coming up right wait for it now